What's up, y'all? Hey, hey. I'm well. How are you? Not bad. Excited to be here with you. Yeah. Well, I, I'm going to start with you, Rosa Nicole. Tell us uh, what got you into acting in theater. Give us your background story. My goodness. I really started doing theater and acting when I was nine doing musicals and then moved up to doing theater actually um, with Michelle Lang Raymond and Heart and Soul. I did that all through school up into college and then majored in theater and dance at Chapman. Yeah. Wow. You know that, you know, it's serious when we take it to the college level. Right. That's real serious. <laughs> uh, Joshua, for you, what was your background? What did it look like for you to even get into a position where you're now going to be one of the characters in Pipeline? Uh, I can't lie. I was at a re the restaurant, Classic Eats and Birian, uh, serving. <laughs> I saw them at uh, one of the tables in the bar. Uh, Tony was like, oh, they want your, they want your number. They want to communicate with you on something. And uh, she, Miss Michelle actually reached out her number to uh, Tony and was like, give that to Josh. Make sure uh, he reaches out. And then uh, texted Michelle and they're like, we have an audition for you to play on this uh character called Amari and Pipeline. And I'm like, huh, I was like, it's my first time acting ever. So I'm like, man, I'm like, we'll see how this goes. Well, you know, th that's what Isaiah was just talking about, right? It's, the, it's a feel, it's understanding, like being able to spotlight talent, even when you're not trying, right? So I love hearing that story because it's real. And it also allows people to understand, like they can do this, whether you have the not since nine, like I say all the time, I started when I was nine, or like, hey, I, I, I got into this role and it's really, I want to hear from you. How is it working for you? Because it's your first time. How are you really resonating with the character that you're portraying? Um, at first, I can't lie. Like the first couple of weeks when we were doing the readings in that room and everything <laughs> like that, uh, I was like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if this is totally for me. But as soon as we started getting into the scenes and Isaiah started directing, letting me know where his emotions were and everything like that, uh, or what I needed to have with the certain emotions with this character, Mari, I started to have some fun with it. And I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, like, you know, this is something that I can actually really like, potentially love. Um, this is something of the future I potentially want to have. Um, I'm just blessed. I'm blessed to be in this opportunity and uh, to be with wonderful co characters. And uh, it's just an amazing moment for me. Well, you know, I'm excited to hear more about this. We're gonna take a short break real quick. We'll be right back, y'all. What's up, everybody? You know, me and Besa, my girl, we had to pull up to Market Street Shoes once again, y'all. And you know, we do this every season. We have to get the new shoes, the new boots, and this time I even got a coat. Yeah, no, you did walk in without a coat. I really I'm did. glad you found one. <laughs> but their boots were on point. Yes, the boots, the bags. I even grabbed a flannel. Yeah, you did. You know, and I was able to get some hats and everything. I was really impressed. And you know, I was impressed because, of course, I got those white boots that yeah. you guys see me wearing everywhere these days. Yeah, no, I, I look at your white boots and I'm like, darn it, they only have one pair. Me and Basie wear the same size. Of course, every time we walk out with several bags in hand. Several bags and sometimes even a backpack, you guys. Make sure you check out Market Street Shoes. Yeah, please check them out. Where they go, Basa? Ooh, 2232 Northwest Market Street, Seattle, Washington. Welcome back to the day with Trey. Uh, thank you so much to our production team for making sure we can hear everyone here. Uh, but Joshua, you were just explaining how now that character is really resonating with you. And I know uh, Rosa Nicole, I mean, emotion and characterization is such key elements to bringing any character to life. Tell us how you've been able to do that throughout the experiences that you've had on stage and doing theater. My goodness. I think when you live a little bit of life and you meet characters throughout your life every day, everywhere you go, and pulling a little bit from that, I'm absolutely able to do that as well with Pipeline. Having been a student in these classrooms, having been in situations where I'm also pouring into students in classroom settings and then being a mom myself. Yeah. So there's lots to draw from just being a, a member of the community in general. Yeah. Well, Joshua, you hit on it a bit earlier in terms of like connecting with the cast members and, uh, you know, really building those relationships. Oftentimes you may go into something and not know anyone. So I want to hear from both of you how that's working in terms of connecting with the other cast members in Pipeline. I'll start with you. 
Well, you know, like I said, it's my first production. So I, you know, walking into this, I didn't know how, you know, the connections would be with other co-characters. I didn't know how, if we would have good relationships and everything like that. But, you know, like I said, all these people that I've worked with in this past month or two has it been, it's been mm -hmm. just phenomenally fun. You know, uh, I makes me feel better to stay in character because I just call everyone by their names. <laughs> <laughs> like Naya, <laughs> Dunn, Xavier, yeah. you know, I just, when I'm with them, I stay in character. I stay Omari. And uh, it's definitely some fun because they push me to want to be like more of the Omari that's in the play that we're reading, that we're working on to be every day. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's important. How about for you, Rose? Oh, man. Joshua is so right about what he's saying. Like even backstage, he's... Hey, mom. <laughs> so, it's really fun and it's funny. We have a really immediate connection um, with all of us on the cast, getting to know each other. I've only known two of the cast members prior to this and even just getting to know them more during this production. It's been great. And he resembles my son in real life a little bit. So <laughs> that's been kind of funny too to talk about. Well, you know, when you talk about bringing your lived experience into it, that's so key. Uh, but also, there's something really special about the way that acts on stage approaches theater work and bringing these works out to the public. I'm going to start with you, Rosa Nicole, because you've done this before. Tell us how different you're experiencing it now that you're working with acts on stage. You know what? It just really feels like a return to home. I have not been on the stage since shortly after um, undergrad and it just feels natural. Like it just feels the space that I'm supposed to be. So no matter what I've done in between and what I might ever do after this, um, I just am enjoying that I feel at home right there. Oh, it's beautiful to hear that. And uh, I, I wanna ask you too, because when you think about life experiences in general, how is this impacting you personally, Joshua, in your actual life? Uh, it's impacting me, I think, real good because, uh, you know, I have, I like to, I like to say I have multiple dreams that I want to pursue and everything like that. And I didn't know acting was one of them, you know? And then um, when Isaiah and Michelle came up to me with this opportunity, you know, a part of me was like, ooh, what if I, what if I fail? You know, what if I don't do good at this? What if I, you know, have stage fright or something like that? Um, but I just knew deep down in my gut, I was like, this is an opportunity that I can fall in love with and make, me, make this into a career, a job. And so far, everything is, my gut feeling has never lied because wow. <laughs> this is what I'm feeling. Well, I, I got to tell you, that's really inspiring mm -hmm. for me. I, you know, when, when I think about the first time that I was like, I really want to do this, mm -hmm. I, I always tell this story about seeing for Alicia V. Loud in Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry. Mm -hmm. And she played this amazing character, but she was phenomenal with her acting. And then she started singing. And then, I, I mean, I was like in a vortex of like, oh my gosh, like I need to figure out how to do that. And so there's always these moments, these kind of anchor moments that draw you into it. Clearly, Joshua, this is one for you. What was that for you, Rosa Nicole, when you think about some of those first experiences that really drew you in to this lane of creativity? Yeah, you know, it's funny. Like I say, I started at nine, I think because as parents, you might relate to this. You put your kids in stuff because you want them to be active. And when I was 12, it was really me kind of following along my brother doing theater. And I just happened to pick up the script and just be there reading it and falling in love with all these characters. And that's where that was really birth. I mean, I didn't think at 12 this was something I was going to be doing now. Um, but just having that compassion, being able to step on the stage and share a story with someone in a way that they were gonna leave being uplifted, um, having their eyes open, and just being able to feel good about where they are in life. That is a passion of mine. Mm, yeah. I, I love this. Uh, lastly, I get to ask both of you. I mean, when you think about uh, playing these characters and maybe something you really want the audience to walk away with after coming to see Pipeline, I'll start with you, Joshua. Like, what is the, the thing that you're like, I really hope they feel this or I really want them to walk away with this specific thing after seeing this amazing show both of you are in? Definitely the emotion. Uh, I want people to understand when you see the story and you're starting to hear it piece by piece, I want you to understand how much Amari is going through. And then uh, you see people around the circle of his relationship are kind of, you know, 
irritating them more and more. I want you, I want the audience to feel that emotion that I bring because, you know, it's just something that African Americans go through on a daily basis, a uh, broken system within the system and even relationship families. So I want you guys to feel my pain when I'm out on that stage, like I am really Omari. Phenomenal. What about for you, Rosa Nicole? My goodness. Um, I want them to leave knowing that each piece matters. Your relationships at home, your relationships at school, what society feeds you, what the media feeds you, all of those things matter and pour into who we show up as every day. This is not just the theater. This is how I feel in real life. Any interaction I have with someone, I want them to leave with that. Like it's not just this individual silo that we're living in on an island by ourselves. We're all relating to each other. And so those individual relationships are so important and that we really have to work hard on harnessing those so that we can propel forward to be these, um, I don't want to say whole people, but just to be these people that have support from all spaces. Yeah. Oh. I just want to thank you both for not just being in this show, but for spending some time with me today to really give us an inside look into who you are and for us to all be drawn into the characters you're portraying in Pipeline. Thank you. Thank you, Joshua, for saying yes and for stepping out on a new territory because now we're all going to get to experience your greatness on that stage. And Rosa Nicole, it's great to hear that you are back on stage and bringing it back full force with Axe on stage. Both of y'all, thank y'all so much. Of Thanks course. for having thank us. Thank you for having us. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Oh.